Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Oh, that's AVE, Arduino versus Evil. That's not me, but I do love him. Anyway, I want to talk about batteries. So you've been lied to. Uh, I see this all the time. Just the other day, somebody on the schoolie forum was talking about their battery and their bus wouldn't start. And they checked the voltage on the battery and the battery voltage was 2.6 volts or 2.8 volts. And so it must be something else. Unfortunately, that's not really always the case. And it's important to know what kind of cranking amps uh, your battery can put out. Just the voltage reading will not tell you and I kind of encountered this. I knew what the issue was, but I have an old cab over engine Ford truck. When I got it and picked it up from the auction site, the uh, battery was dead. We jump started it, I drove it to Arizona and it worked, but I knew the batteries were iffy and lately it's been sometimes reluctant to start. I would turn the key and it would go click and I would turn the key off, maybe jiggle the shifter turn the key again and it would start. And you'd think, well, maybe it's the neutral position switch or something. I think what was really going on is the battery is a little iffy. When you first turn the key, you short the battery out, uh, at least through the starter. That heats it up a little bit. And if the battery is iffy, heating it up a little bit, warming it will help increase the voltage and potentially your charging or your starting current. So the second time I did it, just coincidentally, it would start again. The issue though really was the batteries and I'll show you what's going on. So here's a big 8D battery and it is right now 12.94 volts. So in theory, it's fully charged. And if all you did was check the voltage, you'd think this battery was good to go. But you really need to know what kind of voltage it is under load and how many amperes it can crank out. So you've got to use a load tester. So if I clip these leads on here, this is a carbon pile load tester. So it shows that the battery is in the green range here. So the battery is supposedly in the green, fully charged state of charge. Now what is fully charged? If you think it's 12 volts, it's not, uh, but I don't know exactly what it is. I've seen some sites, reputable sites say 12.6 volts, some say 12.8 volts. Anyway, this indicates that this battery is fully charged. It's supposed to be able to put out 1400 cold cranking amps. So according to the instructions, you would turn this up to half of that. I can only get up to 500 amps on this carbon pile load tester. So in theory, if I had a thousand CCA cold cranking amp battery, I would turn this up to 500 and then we would see what happens over here with the voltage under that thousand amp or 500 amp load, half of the CCA rating. I can't get to 700, which would be half of 14. So I can only go to 500. So let's crank it all the way up to 500 and see what we got and actually cranked all the way up. I'm only putting out 250 amps and the voltage is way down here at, you know, not quite seven volts. So under load, this battery actually is not good. And I love the smell of the, all the dust that burns off that uh, when it's under load. So anyway. Well, let me interrupt the demonstration just to show you how this works. So this is a carbon pile load tester. There are other load testers that are much smaller that apply kind of a micro load. And then based on that micro load and some magic pixies inside the box, they can estimate the, the current draw or current output capacity of your battery. I kind of like the old school one. This one's got really just a, a big coil in there and a variable resistor that's really what this is. So when you first hook it up with the leads, which are down here, just like, oops, sorry, just like jumper cables. First, you look down here to check the state of charge and make sure that it's in the okay to test range. Then you go over here and you crank that up to basically half of the CCA rating. 
crank it up, hold it for 15 seconds, it'll beep and watch to see what happens with the voltage. If it stays in the green for that 15 seconds and then drops, that's probably okay. But you'll notice in our case, it dropped very quickly right down here under about 250 amps of load. And then when you're done, make sure you crank this out. So I didn't show you this because I think everybody needs to go out and buy a load tester. I just want you to understand and maybe learn for the first time that battery voltage is not a good indicator of a healthy battery. It's not the sole indicator of a healthy battery. Certainly if your voltage is low, that's a sign that either it's not getting charged or it's not holding a charge or you've got to drain a parasitic load that is draining that uh, charge away. But if you have a resting battery that's not connected to anything and you just check the voltage and assume the battery is good, I, I hope that you learned here that that's not always the case. And before you start spending money on potentially more expensive repairs, have your battery load tested. You can go to any auto parts store that I know of and they will be able to load test your battery. They'll do it for free. Of course, if you have a bad battery, hopefully you'll buy a battery there and so that's their incentive. But now that you've seen how it's done, you can watch it and make sure that the test is valid. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. As always, have a great day. Safe travels out there.